Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the different types of teeth and their function. First, it's important to note that humans generally develop two different sets of teeth throughout life. The first set of teeth can be referred to as baby teeth, primary teeth, deciduous teeth, or even milk teeth, and there are 20 of those. The second set of teeth will eventually replace those baby teeth, and these are called your secondary or permanent teeth and adults typically develop up to 32 permanent teeth. And of course, if you were to lose all your permanent teeth, then you might get a third set of teeth known as dentures, but those don't really count. Therefore, you only get two sets of teeth in life, which are also called dentitions. Now your teeth will develop along the upper and lower jaw bones in the shape of an arch. So they are referred to as your dental arches. You have an upper dental arch in the maxilla or upper jaw bone, which is called the maxillary arch. And you also have a lower dental arch along your mandible or lower jaw bone, which is called your mandibular arch. If you were to have all your teeth gold plated, then you'd have two golden arches, just like McDonald's. The teeth are also divided into four quadrants. The upper right quadrant is number one, and it's also called the maxillary right. The upper left quadrant is quadrant two, and it's called the maxillary left. Quadrant three is in the lower left side, and it's called the mandibular left. And quadrant four is on the lower right side, and it is called the mandibular right. Now let's talk a little bit about the different types of teeth, and humans have four of them. There are incisors, cuspids, which are also called canines, bicuspids, which are also called premolars, and then molars. However, only three types of teeth appear in the baby teeth, which is your primary teeth, because those premolars do not develop with that first dentition. Instead, baby teeth are gonna include a total of 20 teeth. There are eight incisors, four canines, and eight molars. On the other hand, adolescents and adults have all four types of teeth in their permanent dentition, eventually developing eight incisors, four canines, eight premolars, 12 molars, and a partridge in a pear tree. This adds up to 32 teeth in a complete set or 16 teeth in each arch. Notice I said a complete set because some people won't actually develop all 32 teeth. In addition, some people will develop more than 32 teeth, and those extra teeth are referred to as supernumerary teeth. Now let's take a closer look at each of the four types of teeth, starting with the incisors. The incisors are located at the anterior or front portion of the mouth, and each dental arch has two central incisors, which are separated by the mouth's midline, and two lateral incisors that sit alongside those two central incisors distally. Now, when you add the incisors on both arches, you get a total of eight incisors for both the baby teeth and the permanent teeth. Incisors have only one conical root and their crowns are shaped like small chisels or shovels. And the main function of the incisor tooth is for cutting off food. In fact, the word incisor comes from an old word that means cutting tooth. However, incisors also work with your tongue to produce speech, which is why so many children go around singing that obnoxious song, All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Next, you have the canine teeth, which are also called cuspids or eye teeth. And if you consider the name of these teeth, then you'll always remember which ones they are because cuspid means point and canine refers to dogs, which have those sharp pointy teeth. So you'll always remember that those are the canines. Now you'll find four canines in both the baby teeth and the permanent teeth. Two are gonna be in the maxillary arch and two in the mandibular arch, which sit alongside the lateral incisors distally. Canines have one long root and the crown has one sharp point called a cusp, hence the cuspid name. However, your canines can actually lose their point over time, especially if you have a misaligned bite or if you grind your teeth. Now the main function of the canine teeth is to puncture food and then separate it with those sharp cusps or points. Next, distal to those canine or cuspid teeth are the bicuspid teeth, which are also called premolars. And in each quadrant, you have a first premolar, which is distal to the canine, and you have a second premolar, which is distal to the first premolar. And it's easy to remember the location of these teeth because the name premolar pretty much tells you that they are before or mesial to the molars. 
Also, the prefix by means to, and again, cuspid means point, so the name itself tells you that the crown of these teeth generally have two main points or cusps, though they can also have an extra one or two cusps, especially on the mandibular second premolar. And premolars tend to have one root, but they can have two or even three roots on the maxillary first premolar. And you have to remember again that the baby teeth are not gonna have any premolars in their dentition. These only erupt with the permanent dentition and you have four in each arch which make eight bicuspids or premolars in total. The main function of the premolars is to really grind up food. And then finally, we have the molars, which are located at the posterior portion of each arch. Children are gonna have eight molars in their primary or baby teeth, a first and second molar in each quadrant. So they're gonna have four in each arch for a total of eight, and these are gonna be distal to the canines. Adults, on the other hand, they're gonna have up to 12 molars in their permanent dentition, a first, second, and third molar in each quadrant, or six in each arch. Now, the third molars are also called wisdom teeth because they don't actually develop until your late teens or early 20s, which is when you're supposed to have wisdom, but sometimes they actually fail to erupt properly. For example, in my case, case, I never developed my maxillary third molars. They just never came in and my mandibular third molars were impacted and they had to be surgically removed. So all my wisdom teeth gone. I only have dumb teeth left. Now there's going to be a much larger surface area on the crown of a molar compared to the other teeth and the molars are usually going to have four to five dull cusps. And the maxillary molars, which are on your upper arch, tend to have three roots, whereas the mandibular molars tend to have only two roots. And the main function of the molars is to crush and grind food. Okay, that wraps up this quick video over the different types of teeth and their function. Now you can take a free quiz on our website by clicking the link in the YouTube description below. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might wanna check out. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.